Welcome to Online Family Math Night at Westside Elementary. I'm Kim Henderson, the Academic Coach and Parent and Family Involvement Coordinator. We're going to start out with a couple of little corny jokes. Why didn't the two fours feel like dinner? Because they already ate. <laughs> Get it? Four plus four equals eight. <laughs> okay. So why is the number six so scared? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> See the sequence? Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I told you they were corny. But who said math couldn't be fun? <laughs> Let's all focus on math fact fluency. At Westside, one of our main math focuses in all grade levels is math fact fluency. So what is it? By math fact fluency, we mean knowing a math fact with automaticity or without even having to think about it. So often the question is, well, how fast is that? Common Core recommends three seconds. It's very much like students know their sight words without thinking about them. That's how we want students to know their math facts. So at Westside, we practice our math facts daily as a part of our regular classroom routine in all grade levels. Check out what we're doing in each grade level on the next slides. Pre-K learners need many opportunities to explore, manipulate, and represent, and learn various math concepts and skills. The Math Center is the perfect place for that when you intentionally plan and set up a Math Center, rich in materials that promote mathematical exploration. Remember, research tells us that students need concrete hands-on activities and the opportunity to manipulate materials to develop math skills and concepts. We also use songs videos as a multi-sensory approach, which adds a visual and movement to each number song so the students see this number, sing the song, and move all at the same time. Kindergarten students are expected to fluently add and subtract within five. They're provided with a variety of strategies to meet these individual student needs. Students use manipulatives to learn the basis of addition and subtraction. These young learners oftentimes need to be able to see, touch, and feel objects as they add and subtract. So they use colored tiles, counting bears, counting sticks, cubes. We have Susie's subtraction anchor, anchor charts or Mr. Chad add anchor charts and videos, of course. Go back in and click on this pirate and you get to see a video about addition when you add with a pirate. In first grade, the goal for first graders is to be fluid in adding and subtracting with sums of 20. We help our students in a variety of ways. Reflex Math is a computer program that helps students memorize addition and subtraction facts. At least 20 minutes a day is what we try to get them on there. Also, daily practice with flashcards in small groups and teaching a variety of strategies to add and subtract and reviewing these strategies daily using acre charts. In second grade, we target a specific fact each week, such as subtracting 6. 12 minus 6 equals 6. 15 minus 6 equals 9. The goal is to master 20 facts in one minute. Some ways we practice our facts each week include writing the facts daily in our interactive notebooks, reflex math program 20 minutes a day, flash the facts each day on a PowerPoint, time minute to win it practice, flashcards, fact fluency games, and of course our anchor charts. In third grade, we work to help students become fluent in addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. Students are to master addition and subtraction before moving on to multiplication and division. We know the more times you see something and hear something, the easier it is to memorize it. So, so our third grade orally practices the hardest multiplication math facts each day on a slide in our daily presentation. These facts have no easy trick and simply must be memorized. If the student memorizes the multiplication fact, they'll also be learning the division fact. Teacher schedule 20 minutes each day for students practice math facts in a program called, you guessed it, Reflex. 
And we not only like to learn our math facts, we like to celebrate when we've learned our math facts and we've mastered them. So when students master addition and subtraction facts in third grade, they get a guitar with their name added to the rock star board. When they master their multiplication and division facts, they get their picture added to their guitar. Also, students' names are announced over the intercom and they receive a certificate when they've mastered their facts. <clears throat> In fourth grade, we love our reflex math. When students reach 100% fluency in their multiplication and division facts, they get their name added to the All-Star Math Masters Board in the hallway. They also have their name announced over the intercom for everyone to hear. We practice our multiplication and division facts daily in class and have time tests to check out fluency on Fridays. Now, daily we use like Make It Monday when you write your math facts on flashcards. Two times Tuesday, write each set of facts two times. Wacky Wednesday, rainbow write. Think Fast Thursday and Fast Friday. In fifth grade, we practice our facts by typing them in Google Docs three times each day. They're practicing facts and building a 21st century skill of typing. And then when students re achieve 100% fluency in reflex math, their stars put on our math facts stars board out in the hallway. So here, reflex math. You've heard a lot about it. What is it? At Westside, we do use a reflex math program in gra grades 1 through 5 to build fact fluency. Reflex is a program on the computer that targets students' math fact fluency skills. The Reflex teaches students their facts through fact families. Reflex uses research-proven methods through innovative technology to provide the most effective practice for students. This program helps students master their addition and subtraction facts, as well as multiplication and division facts. It starts out with a screener or a pretest to see where the students are, and from that screener, it differentiates the skills they need to master their facts. Students do this program every day in class for at least 15 minutes. But you can also do this at home. Students will need to know their teacher's login code to be able to go to the program. And they already know it. First thing they need to do is go to reflexmath.com and then type in their username, which is the first and last name of their teacher. And then type in the password, which is CCSS lunch number. They know it. Now, you could keep up with their report and how well they're doing by this family pyramid report. It lets you know what has been unassessed, what they're fluid in and not fluid in. So, according to the Georgia Standards of Excellence, our curriculum, this chart shows what students in each grade level should have mastered or be able to do fluently in math by the end of the grade level year. This is one reason we put so much emphasis on math fact fluency. You see in kindergarten, add and subtract within five. In first grade, add and subtract within 20. In second grade, add and subtract within 20 using mental strategies. In third grade, multiply and divide within 100. In fourth grade, add and subtract multi-digit whole numbers. In fifth grade, multiply multi-digit whole numbers. Hmm. So how can you join in with promoting math fact fluency? Family fun time. <laughs> there are a number of simple activities you can participate in at home with your child to promote math fact fluency. One game is roll the dice. Actually, this is several different games. Dice can be used in so many different ways when it comes to math, whether you're practicing multiplication facts or fractions, addition, subtraction, creating your own math word problems. And if you'll come back here and click on the word dice, you'll find other ideas. Making a recipe is another way that you can have family fun time with math. When you have to follow a recipe, especially when you have to adjust the recipe, there's a lot of math involved in making sure you get it right. So, put those skills to the test by making a no-bake cookies or even slime. And if you'll click on the word slime, you'll get the slime recipe. Or if you've got a, a deck of cards laying around, you can play war. And if you click here on the word war, you'll get the directions. 
this is a classic card game. It's always good to have fun. We have a few extra minutes or you can have a rain in day or it's too cold to go out. Or if the chores are gotten done and there's nothing else to do, like bonus time. Or if you like more ideas, click on the following links to enjoy more ideas and activities that will increase math fact fluency. Have fun. Math is fun. And share with us on our Facebook page some of the fun activities you and your child and your family has had doing math. Thanks for joining in.